time and have a lot of fun with this event today. <laughs> Thank you, all of you, just wonderful. And uh, we have one last thing. Mara Garcia, our Vice President for uh, Advancement, Digital Advancement, in her former career was an opera singer, a professional opera singer. And she wanted to, for her part, sing something for Tom. And Cheryl said that Tom's uh, favorite piece was unforgettable. So she's going to sing that for us. If, uh, if we're all able to stand after that, we're going to head out to these benches right in front of the building and dedicate them. And Reverend Michael is going to bless them. And then we're going to head over to the what's called the dining hall, the main dining hall, to the faculty and staff dining room. And we're going to have lunch there together. So with that, I hand you my reverse personal note, it is a privilege uh, to be here today to share in this uh, memorial time. Uh, it is, however, also on a personal note, uh, one of those moments in the two plus years that I've been able to be chaplain here at the college that I really miss my predecessor, uh, who is the guy who ought to be here and sharing with you uh, today, Pastor Gutu. Uh, on a pastoral note, as I sit here, uh, I want to thank the family of Tom for allowing us to share this moment with you because you had to relive a lot of things today and I hope that our exercise in grief is a, an exercise in healing uh, as, as much as a, a journey through Tom's life and the care and respect for him. I would begin by uh, getting ready to go outside by asking the question, bench? Uh, bench? Office chair, boardroom chair, dining hall window seat, uh, seat at uh, Joe and Pat's, uh, bleacher seat, uh, beach chair, uh, and perhaps from my perspective, most importantly, pew. Uh, I am certain that I missed more than a few places where he worked and played, uh, but bench? Tom Carroll benched? <laughs> Think of it. Uh, not in this lifetime have I ever experienced this man benched uh, in the little bit that I got to experience him. Not even his illness, not even his illness could bench Tom Carroll. His friends and colleagues today have used words, and I read the book a half dozen times, and listen carefully today, finest, sharpest, most gracious, wittiest, uh, precise, full of integrity, consummate, disciplined, gifted, unique, adept, constant, devoted, respected, 
exceptional, honest, kind, candid, positive, outstanding, focused, intense, frank, awesome, intelligent, <laughs> great personality, character, boy scout, good judgment, and I was counting on all these getting in here today, and they did, and the best smile, that smile, it's on the front of the book, and it's in that picture, uh, and above all else, above all else, a devoted husband, and loving and caring father. And so we feel, and so we feel more keenly the loss of this man. And we come today to offer our thanksgiving. As Richard said at the beginning, this is not a second funeral, at least that rings in my ears from is, is preparing us for today. This is not what this is about. This is a celebration, a time of thanksgiving for his life, his love, his legacy, and the privilege that we've had uh, and now have in sharing it. And we come, we come, we come to bench him. Uh, a term, while not descriptive of Tom's life, I could hope he might enjoy and we might enjoy today as we remember his sense of humor. We come finally, we come finally to dedicate a place where we in the future might come to remember and share and gather strength and wisdom from our memories of Tom and perhaps draw upon his integrity at moments when our integrity is challenged or to allow the memory of his smile and his humor to uh, lighten our load. Or maybe we'll come to the bench. Maybe we'll come to the bench. Um, just to listen to his favorite song. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. Is it out there? <laughs> Do you know what song it is? I didn't know. I had no clue. It's called Rapper's Delight. <laughs> now I'm told that Tom knew the lyrics to this song. Is that right? And I found out last night the song's 14 minutes long. <laughs> We don't have 14 minutes, <laughs> but I thought, as often as John mentioned it in his article, it at least ought to get some play today. <laughs> I think John mentioned it and Christine mentioned it, no, it was mentioned several times, but 14 minutes is, is unbelievable. So let us, uh, let us pray and then we'll go to the bench. Oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our brother Tom. We thank you for giving him to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us and mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in your love of life, a love reflected in Tom's passion and care for your many gifts. Give us the confidence that comes from knowing that death will not have the last word, but that word will be spoken with your grace and your love. Heal the wounds death has brought to us, especially to Tom's family, especially to Cheryl and Becca and Aaron, especially to his parents and his in-laws and all who are close to him. Heal the wounds his death has opened in all our lives. Let your light so reflected in Tom's smile and hope drive back the shadows. In your name we pray. Let's all say it together, please. Amen. Amen. Now. Outside. Yes, we're going to go right to these doors, and the benches are right in front. Thank you.